hello friends welcome to my channel and in this video i'm going to show you my emacs so i believe that emacs is one of the most powerful tool ever written and i just love this thing you can do so much with emacs but it's initially just a text editor but it's so powerful text editor that you can turn it into anything so it allow you to do a lot of extra stuff which you can do with it and it's really really important like it's the ultimate solution for all your programming needs because as a programmer you don't know when you want what all right for example when i was a web developer i was using my editor a lot and sometimes i needed the terminal and i needed the browser now what I did is I turned my Emacs into a desktop environment and uh, in my laptop, I used the desktop environment. So my laptop was like my coding machine and I was just using my laptop only for coding and running Emacs and it was so convenient. Now, some people don't like this. They say it's bloat, but the thing is that it's an option. Nobody is forcing you into using Emacs as a desktop environment. And I just hate when people just don't like Emacs or say bad stuff about it just because Emacs is so powerful that it allow you to turn it into a desktop environment. I mean, for me, it was so convenient. Like my, when I open my laptop, I know I am opening it for coding and I don't have to open my text editor or anything. And I don't have to load entire desktop environment because all I needed was my text editor and I get Emacs right in the front and all the little extra functionality, which I need. Like, for example, I want music while coding. I can just use Emacs for playing music. I can open terminal inside Emacs. So but this is not a must to do thing and in this video i'm going to show you like right now i'm in my dwm and i'm just using my minimal configuration of emacs so i have two configuration one is the whole desktop environment thing which contain the window manager and stuff but in this configuration i only have 20 packages and i am giving you a challenge if you are a programmer and you use vim you must need a lot of functionalities to write your projects you can't write your projects in vim by default you have to add some plugins and after adding those plugins you can compare your vim with my emacs version and you will realize that both these text editor feels pretty same the loading time of your vim will become similar to the loading time of my emacs and i am saying this because i used emacs and i was too much into vim versus emacs thing and i explored both the editors and i think that emacs is very very practical solution for your programming needs and i also believe that emacs is pretty elegant yeah it doesn't fit in the unix philosophy but still i believe it's worth exploring the world of emacs and and according to me, if you are a programmer, you should use uh, Emacs over Vim. So in this video, I'm just going to show you like what it's like to use Emacs. Not much, just basic, you know, I just want to show you my Emacs. So uh, what should I show you? So suppose if I just want to split my screen, so, you know, you can have multiple screens and uh, let me open some files like some CPP file. So what I'm trying to show you here is that even though it's my minimal config, I can do almost everything. I can work on even a large project in it. And I have this search feature I want to show you. I just love it. It's no, it's called Swiper. Okay. So I can use it. And I think it is one of the best way to search any text in the file. So you can see it's a complete programmer thing. I should close this and, you know, do so here let's just see some more stuff so i can open a terminal in my emacs and this video is not tutorial i just want to show you that yeah you can do almost everything in emacs all i want to show you is the workflow like how it is to write code in emacs like my workflow all right so one thing i have to say that emacs is going to blow your mind once you start learning it and exploring it it contains so many things but right now i can't explain you all the stuff which emacs do and right now i'm just talking about emacs in general i am not talking about org mode here which open a whole new world of possibilities and I want to tell you one more thing that uh, let me, you know, Emacs is worth using on the terminal too. So this is my terminal and let me go into code and somewhere like PW sites. And if you type Emacs minus NW and then open Emacs, 
So this is Emacs in my terminal. And trust me, Emacs terminal version is really, really good. Now, since I'm using theme, the background is not transparent. But if you use Emacs without theme or there is some code you have to add in your init file, you can have a transparent background too. Now, I don't usually use terminal version, even though you can use Emacs terminal version is very good. I like GUI more. If you have a habit of Vim key bindings, you can use Evil Mode, which allow you to use uh, Vim key binding in Emacs. And in Emacs, Evil Mode is very well integrated, so, so you don't feel anything weird while using Vim key in Emacs. So as you can see, my Emacs is very, you know, well documented. So when I press Control X, it's just showing me all the options which I can, you know, use. By default, Emacs don't do this. It's some package, but it's so lovely. Like it's so easy to use. And I just can't tell you how much I love this thing. All right, let me show you some cool stuff now you might like or enjoy. So I, I like this animate birthday present. So Bucks writer enter and here it's just generating a poem or I think not generating. It's just doing some animation and I like it in Emacs everything is buffer and I'm going to teach you more in the future videos when I will start making some Emacs tutorial but if you truly want to watch some good tutorials there is a playlist of Uncle Dave on YouTube and one of the biggest reason I can give you to use Emacs for your programming is because in future Emacs will never let you down. So there are a lot of times I see people use Vim and there were some time when they feel like a Vim or any other text editor is limited. Um, that text editor can't do this or that. And in Emacs, there is no limit. You can do almost anything. You can play GTA 5 inside Emacs. Uh, right now, by default, actually Emacs have this Tetris. And I mean, yeah, you can you can do almost anything like inside Emacs. It's so powerful. It's so beautiful. And uh, I just love this text center. I can't tell you how much I love this. I do programming because I love using Emacs. Okay. So let me kill this. I usually don't open two windows. What I do is switching between buffers. I like uh, the buffers concept in Emacs. And as you can see, you can use Emacs for, you know, image previews. So if you are a web developer, you can do that too. So again, this is not a detailed uh, tutorial. It just, you know, I'm trying to, sh I'm just showing you my Emacs. So you might like this. It's very minimal. As you can see, all the package get loaded in less than a second. It's fast. It's powerful. Emacs have its own package manager like Melfa and you can install so many packages as you can see. These are all the packages and according to your need, you can install these packages and many people use these as VS code, which is, I mean, mostly normies or, you know, so it has use it and VS code is ugly as hell and people have some packages in VS code, which is written in JavaScript and all those bullshit. But here you have Lisp and Lisp is one of the most beautiful programming language. It's actually Elisp, Emacs, Lisp and uh, it's one of the most beautiful programming language you should always learn lisp it's one of the best language so let me quickly show you my config here so um i don't know if you understand this but this is lisp code and when i open my emacs it just run this code so so this is my minimal config i use cyberpunk theme and as you can see these are the all the settings which I want and let me try to give you a little bit idea of Emacs like how you do things in Emacs. So I wrote this function kill whole word. Okay, so this is a function I wrote in Elisp and so this is the syntax of Elisp. So what this function do is suppose I have some word uh, on my screen. So this is the word powerful and what I can do is I can just run this function so to run any function in emacs you have to type meta x meta means alt and then you can uh, you know run functions so this is how you can run any function from anywhere and when i press enter it's just going to execute the function and it's going to delete the word and that's what this function is doing first it's running the backward word then it's running the kill word function so basically this function is just running these two function one by one so let me show this again powerful uh, again mx and then i can just run backward word and press enter and here my point pointer is in start now 
and I can again you know run this kill word function now and it's going to kill the word so in this function I'm just running these two functions and then I'm just binding this to this uh, key bind all right so again powerful and what I can do now is control C WW and it's just going to delete the whole word so this is the power of Emacs you can write your functions for your need and since it's a programming language you can just do whatever you want you can even run a shell command and you know it's so liberating and these are the syntax for installing any packages so I use this use package to install package because it ensure that uh, this package installs so when you dive into this you will understand everything and if you want to learn Emacs which you should you can watch Uncle Dave's YouTube playlist I will put the link in the description and I just want to tell you that learning Emacs and making your own configuration file of Emacs is so fun you are going to enjoy this a lot all right so don't miss Emacs just learn it enjoy it I am pretty sure you are going to love learning about Emacs trust me it's worth people do so many things with Emacs I can't even tell you when you explore org mode you are just going to forget LaTeX it's so powerful I can't even explain you in this one little video